Hi guys, it's Ankita here and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a review on the new Lakme Absolute Blur Perfect Makeup Primer which retails for 650 rupees and you get 30 gram of product. But I got mine from snapwheel.com and over there I got this one for 585 rupees. So on the back of the packaging it says the perfect start for a flawless professional makeup finish. Silky Blur Formula instantly brightens, primes, softens blemishes and pores and creates a smooth skin surface to prep for makeup application. Makeup glides on effortlessly and blends seamlessly for a more vibrant color true finish. The perfect canvas for makeup or wear alone over your moisturizer for instant smoothness and radiance. So the primer comes in this light pink color which settles down once you blend it nicely into the skin and the texture of the primer is lightweight and it does not feel too silicone-y. Somehow the fragrance of this primer reminds me a lot of L'Oreal's infallible foundation. I don't know why but it does remind me a lot of that foundation. The fragrance of this primer is not very overpowering, it settles down once you apply it. What I really liked about this primer is that it does minimize the appearance of pores and fine lines and your liquid foundation or your powder foundation glides on nicely and nicely blends into the skin and to certain extent it also softens the appearance of blemishes as you can see on this side of my face I have a lot of blemishes and it has slightly softened the appearance of it. The primer also helps in brightening the skin so you can wear this primer just by itself. I also did a flash photography test to see if there is any flashback but there wasn't. So people who have a lot of pigmentation for them I would not really recommend to use this primer just by itself for the reason it might look slightly grey. So if you want to use this primer make sure that you apply a liquid foundation or a powder foundation on top of it. This primer is good for all skin types and I have a combination skin which is more towards oily. So on this side of the face I have applied a liquid foundation and on this side of the face I have applied a powder foundation and as you can see on this side where I have applied a liquid foundation has become slightly oily as compared to the side where I have applied a powder foundation and it has been only two and a half hours that I have done my entire makeup. Since I have oily skin, I do need to touch up with powder after 4-5 to five hours irrespective of which foundation or primer I use. Even though this primer is suitable for all skin types, I would not really recommend this primer to people who have very oily skin and especially if you are going to use it under a liquid foundation. I personally prefer using this primer under my powder foundation as compared to using it under a liquid foundation. So without wasting any more time, let's get started with the demo. The tube comes in this black outer cardboard packaging and the primer comes in this easy to squeeze tube packaging which is great for traveling and the silver cap closes tightly and securely which makes it travel friendly. The color of the primer is pink in color and once you blend it nicely it settles down while making the skin appear brighter. As you can see from the difference on the hand where I have applied the primer appears to be brighter as compared to the hand where I haven't applied the primer. So this is how my skin looks like without primer. So first I am going to take the primer on the back of my hand and warm it up so that the primer blends nicely into the skin. To start off I am going to apply the primer on one side of my face. So first I am going to apply the primer on my cheeks, forehead and then chin. As you can see that the primer initially looks white but then blends nicely into the skin. As you can see on the side where I have applied the primer appears to be brighter as compared to the side where I haven't applied the primer. And now I'm just going to zoom in so you can see how nicely it has minimized the appearance of pores. Now I'm going to apply the primer on the other side of my face. And this is how it looks like on my skin. As you can see my skin looks brighter and fresh. 
and now again I'm going to zoom in I am now going to apply concealer on the areas where I need concealing and blend it with Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge On one side I'm going to apply Laurel's Infallible Liquid Foundation with Real Techniques Flat Foundation Brush and then blend it with sponge And on the other side of my face, I'm going to apply Estee Lauder's Double Wear Compact Foundation with Real Techniques Buffing Brush. Both liquid and powder foundations glided on and blended into the skin nicely. As you can see, even after applying both types of foundations, the pores aren't very visible. And now I'm going to set the liquid foundation with Maybelline's Fit Me Powder and I will be applying the same powder on the other side of the face as well. And this is how it looks like. The pores don't look accentuated and skin appears to be smoother. And now I'm going to quickly contour and apply the blush. Even rest of the makeup glides on and blends into the skin nicely. On me the blush and contour starts to become light after 7 to 8 hours. So that's it guys for today. Hope you really found this review to be helpful and if you did then please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and you could also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching my video. Hope to see you soon in my next one. Until next time keep reviving your own fashion.